made um, a lot of short films before. I started making films um, when I was 11, so I'd had a fair run-up to uh, making this my first feature. And the film was crowdfunded. My producer, Emmett Fleming, um, put together a plan to crowdfund the film through a website we set up ourselves where you could uh, donate to the film and also buy an investment, a share in the film for 150 euro. And we raised the budget for the production of the film through that process. And then once we had a rough cut, we showed it to the Irish Film Board and they gave us a bit more money to uh, complete the film. I think film festivals are fantastic and I'm really pleased that we've been asked to come to this film festival because um, you get, I think you get a different type of audience. You get an, an audience which is far more generous and if you like an audience which is a bit more sophisticated about films so they're not just going to be entertained, they're perhaps going to be entertained and if you like learn something or to, to look at film and the language of film and to see what possibilities um, films can have in an artistic way. And I, you know, I don't want to claim any sort of great things for this film, but we have tried to sort of make a, a film that is slightly away from what would be considered a normal television genre type documentary. So it'd probably be a wee bit quirky for television and perhaps not too quirky for an art house cinema release or something like that. And so <clears throat> I think it's... Um, you know, really it's great that a film gets that kind of exposure in the film festival as well. So, you know, you, you get a, a much more interesting audience in that sense. When I was 16, we went to see this washed up, faded failure of an English actor named John Gilgood. And we went and we were sitting in the balcony and this little man walked out and he started to speak and I bifurcated into two different people. One was sitting in the balcony and the other was in complete awe. I had never realized what the human voice could achieve. And I, it changed my life. It changed my life completely. I, I raised my ambition and I went backstage and I said, thank you. And I meant it. And all of a sudden my life was filled with Gil Goods Hamlet, Gil Goods Hamlet, Burton's Hamlet, Olivier's Othello, and, and then Dylan Thomas's poetry. And I was, I was a, a, an expanded mind because of, you know, Shakespeare is taught only for one reason, and that's that actors want it taught. And no one understands Shakespeare when you're a freshman, and so I want to formalize that question. Why do we read that crap is about history and Shakespeare. And then you make the same question an essay contest in your senior year. And if you haven't changed, then take it again, because Shakespeare is proof of genius unending genius.